That's, that's all right. Breaking down stereotypes of what visitors might expect to see in a Peruvian art exhibit. That is the mission behind El Peru Art in the Contemporary Past, now showing at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. And as a curator, Tay Mariana Nunn explains, there's much more than meets the eye when it comes to the nation's artists. There's a lot of um, focus on Peru right now. It's become a culinary capital of the world. Um, Pisco, the, the national liquor, is rising in export like 146% over the last five years. And it's been in the news because there's issues with building an airport near Machu Picchu. And one of the things that I've always thought about is that when, when people think of Peru, they think first of Machu Picchu and yamas, and of course yamas are very popular right now in popular culture, but they keep things sort of in the past. I mean, it's easier to associate with Peruvian's past than what's going on in contemporary culture. And this exhibit addresses that uh, by, by, by acknowledging that there is a pre-Columbian and, and colonial um, history in Peru, but there are contemporary artists looking at it now. Each of the four artists for this uh, El Peru, Art in the Contemporary Past, were selected because they sort of rove in and out and through um, history. And they look at the pre-Columbian past or the pre-colonial past and the colonial past in their works. Acknowledging that those are the, you know, sort of the, <clears throat> the grounding of Peruvian visual arts but sort of playing with the idea that it is brought up into the contemporary and that, for instance, moche pottery, which is pre-Columbian, had actual faces on the pottery. And so why not put a contemporary face on a pottery and sort of play with that idea? Um, the four artists are Cuculi Velarde, um, whose work is behind me right now, Baldomero uh, Alejos, um, who was a photographer uh, in Ayacucho from the 30s to the 70s and recorded his community at a really crucial time before The Shining Path um, took place. And he has beautiful black and white photography. Lori Salcedo, who's a contemporary photographer who really w works at recovering Afro-Peruano identity, um, pre-Columbian identity, and, and, and showing that the portraits of faces are very much like the portraits in art in the past. Um, and then there's Ana de Orbegoso, who also works with huacos, which are the pre-Columbian pots, putting contemporary faces on those, and also a series of religious images in which she puts contemporary Peruvians in the angels, and she puts contemporary children and, and community members um, into the religious images, um, especially making them um, relatable to the indigenous community um, because many of the colonial examples of, of religious images that we have from Peru, and there are in, some in the show, many of the colonial examples are very um, light-skinned. And so everybody's playing with identity and positioning and history and culture and art. Um, and it's really exciting to acknowledge that there are contemporary artists in, uh, in Peru and not just sort of think of Peru in the past or with a folk culture. This is our first Peruvian exhibit here at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, um, and so we're very uh, excited to be doing that. Um, I hope they find a, a personal connection. There's a large Peruvian community in New Mexico, numbering about 2,000 now. Peruvian restaurants are opening up um, in Albuquerque, Santa Fe, and Taos. Um, and I just hope they get to see something that they, they relate to because we're, we're so grounded in a indigenous past and a colonial past here in New Mexico that I think they'll be very excited and interested to see what's happened in other parts of the world. The show runs now through May 31st of next year. If you want more information, just head over to nmliving.com.